Hello viewers, welcome to linux.com. Today we are going to see how to install Tomcat 9 on Linux Mint 18.3 version. As we all know, Apache Tomcat is an open source web server and servlet container developed by Apache Software Foundation and it executes Java servlets and renders web pages that includes Java server page coding and it is one of the most popular web servers used by Java developers. And also it is really so simple to install Apache Tomcat on Linux Mint 18.3 version. So in this tutorial we will cover the installation of Apache Tomcat latest version. So let's proceed with the installation. So in order to install a Tomcat it is really essential to install Java. So make sure that you have Java installed and you can do that by using a following command. Just press Y to continue. And once it is done, you can check if it is installed properly by making use of the following command java iPhone version. So here you can find the Java version. We are running on 1.8.0, that is Java JDK 8. And then the next step will be creating a Tomcat user, and you can do that by using this following command. So the Tomcat 9 user has been added now, and then you need to enter in the OPT location, and for that you need to run the following command. Now we are in the OPT location and we can download the Tomcat 9 latest package by using wget command. So the latest version would be 9.0.6. So we are installing that. We are downloading that using wget command utility from the terminal. Now the package is downloaded and then we are going to extract that now. So the package is extracted. Now we should create a symbolic link for the extracted directory by making use of the following command. Here is the directory and we are going to create a symbolic link for it. Now the symbolic link has been created. And then we should change the ownership of the extracted directory by running the following command. Now the ownership has been changed. Next, you should create a user for manager and admin in Tomcat user file as follows. And you can do that by editing the Tomcat users.xml file. Here is the location of that file. Just go to that file and here you can find the tomcat users tag here and the tag closes here so you have to insert the following lines in between those tags now if you see here i have added a user with the username admin and the password password and assigned to the manager iphone gui and admin iphone gui so after adding this file just save and quit and then next we have to make an entry to allow this server and you can do that by using the file context.xml so get into the web app manager and there it is a context.xml file just get inside the file and then here go to the allow area here you have to enter your system IP address after that save and close the file and then go to the host manager of BAP and that also are available under the web apps web app location and follow the same procedure in here too and then save and quit the file 
Next, we have to configure a daemon file for start and stop tomcat service. You can do that by editing the following file here. So we are creating a file under system D. And then here, insert these following lines. So once you have added this line, save and quit the file. And then we have to reload a daemon and you can do that by using systemctl daemon reload command now the daemon is reloaded and then we can now start the tomcat service by running the systemctl command and don't forget to enable it So now a system link has been created and then next step will be opening our browser and accessing the tomcat web page and then go here here you can give your ip address or else your host name and in my case the host name is linuxhelp.com you can verify that by using a following command hostname ifnf And the port number will be 8080 so if you see this page we have successfully installed the tomcat now if you want to open the manager app just click on it and then it will ask for a username and password which we added previously So and if you see here, this is the Tomcat Web Application Manager and we just entered using the login username we have created. Just go back and if you want to open a host manager, click on it and enter the password and username and just press OK. So and then this is the host manager, Tomcat Virtual Host Manager. So with this, the installation of Tomcat latest version comes to an end and I hope this tutorial helps you. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com. Mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for any queries.